Every year, the mining industry produces over 100,000 tons of lithium worldwide. It's known as the Earth's white gold, and without this metal, mobile phones, computers, and electric cars simply wouldn't exist. But how can this element give life to almost everything we use daily? Well, today we'll travel to Chile, home to the world's largest lithium processing plant, where more than a thousand tons of this mineral are transformed every day into the energy that keeps all our technology running. So get ready, because today you are going to discover how one of the planet's most exclusive and powerful materials is mass produced. Let's begin. Step 1. Extracting Natural Lithium It all starts in the open pit salt flats, enormous expanses of white land that literally look like authentic lunar landscapes. At first glance, it appears to be nothing more than an endless layer of salt, but beneath that solid surface lies a mineral-rich brine, which contains the element that gives life to the batteries of all the electronic devices we use every day. The challenge is huge. Each liter of that brine contains less than 1% lithium, which means that to obtain just one kilogram of useful lithium, it's necessary to pump and process more than 2,000 liters of underground salt water loaded with salts. And don't think that's a small amount. A single kilogram is enough to manufacture batteries capable of powering more than 7,000 mobile phones. When everything is ready, the extraction begins. Enormous drilling rigs equipped with pressurized pumping systems are driven into the salt flat, piercing the salt layer to reach the underground brine reserves. Once located, the valuable lithium-laden mixture is pushed to the surface through large-scale industrial pipes. From there, colossal pumping and piping systems transfer this liquid to the processing facilities, where the transformation that will turn it into the energy that powers the modern world will begin. Step 2. Concentration and Evaporation With all the brine extracted, one of the longest and most crucial phases of the process begins. The tons of liquid are conducted through pipes to gigantic evaporation pools perfectly aligned in the middle of the desert. Each one exceeds 40,000 cubic meters of capacity, and the brine remains there for months, while the scorching sun and dry wind evaporate the water and naturally increase the concentration of salts and minerals. As the water evaporates, heavier minerals like sodium, potassium, and magnesium are trapped at the bottom, while the light and valuable lithium becomes increasingly concentrated on the surface. The transformation is spectacular. What initially looked like a dirty mixture of water and white salt begins to change in tone, acquiring bluish, intense green, and even bright turquoise colors, a visible sign that the lithium concentration is progressing perfectly. But the process isn't as simple as just letting the water evaporate. Expert operators daily supervise the temperature, density, and salt level because a miscalculation could upset the balance and lead to the loss of entire tons of valuable material. When the concentration reaches the exact level, the result is a much thicker, lithium-rich brine, ready to enter the next phase of its transformation. Step 3. Initial Precipitation and Purification Here begins one of the first and most important processes of lithium purification. What was once just a mixture of salt water and minerals begins to transform into an increasingly cleaner concentrate. The tons of concentrated brine are transported via high-pressure pipes to enormous chemical reaction tanks. There, operators equipped with protective suits and automated dosing systems add compounds like lime and sodium carbonate, which react with unwanted minerals and remove them from the solution. Magnesium, calcium, and sulfates, which were previously dissolved, begin to precipitate and turn into a thick, dark sludge that is carefully removed. There is no margin for error here. A single chemical mistake could ruin thousands of liters of brine and condemn entire tons of lithium that would never become energy. For this reason, each stage is monitored by high-precision sensors and specialized laboratories, which analyze the purity of the mixture in real time. The result of this phase is a much cleaner brine, loaded with a high concentration of lithium, ready to move on to the next step of its transformation. Step 4. Chemical Conversion with the brine already purified and enriched with lithium, its most critical phase begins, the transformation into high-purity solid compounds. The concentrate is piped to enormous stainless steel reactors, where the chemical reactions that will give rise to two key products are triggered. Lithium carbonate, used in most current rechargeable batteries, and lithium hydroxide, essential for new generation batteries. Each one is obtained following a different process. Lithium carbonate is produced by adding sodium carbonate under specific pressure and temperature conditions. 
Little by little, the lithium chemically reacts and precipitates in the form of a white, fine, and light powder, the most used compound in the manufacturing of batteries for phones, computers, and some electric vehicle brands. Lithium hydroxide, on the other hand, requires additional treatment. The carbonate itself is processed with calcium hydroxide, generating an equally white and pure compound, but with a key advantage. It offers greater stability and energy density, which makes it the preferred material for high-performance batteries in modern electric cars like Tesla's. With this conversion, lithium ceases to be a simple brine extracted from the desert and is transformed into the chemical base that drives the energy of the future. Step 5. Drying and Crystallization Although it has already been transformed into carbonate or hydroxide, the lithium still retains moisture and small impurities. To achieve the extreme purity required by the battery industry, it must go through an exhaustive drying and crystallization phase. This is the last level of refinement. Here, the lithium reaches the extreme purity that makes it suitable for becoming energy. All the material is moved to huge industrial ovens, capable of exceeding 200 degrees Celsius. There, the heat completely removes the remaining moisture leaving a dry, uniform, and much purer powder. Then, gigantic rotary dryers and precision filters separate the particles with millimeter accuracy, removing any unwanted residue and ensuring that each grain of lithium has the right texture and is completely free of contaminants. The result is stunning. Millions of tiny white crystals, as fine as flour, that represent lithium in its purest and most usable form. At this point, if everything has gone as it should, the material is now suitable for producing energy. And its value is immense. A single ton of refined lithium can sell for more than $20,000 on the international market. That means a single truck loaded with 30 tons is worth almost a million dollars in white gold. Finally, each produced batch is cooled in a controlled manner in hermetic silos and deposited in special containers, ready to face the most demanding test. Step 6. Final Quality Control At this point, the lithium seems ready. But in the battery industry, appearance is not enough. Every grain of powder must meet the most demanding standards and guarantee the promised energy. Each batch of white crystals is subjected to an exhaustive quality control in specialized laboratories. First, technicians, equipped with high-precision analysis machines and X-ray systems, verify that the purity exceeds 99.5%, the minimum level required by the global battery market. Then comes the definitive test. Small samples of the lithium are introduced into mini test batteries, where it's measured how much energy they can store, how much they can withstand, and how stable they are. Here, each batch must demonstrate all its power before being released to the market. A single error can mean the loss of tons of material and millions of dollars. Therefore, if a batch doesn't pass any of these tests, it returns to previous phases for additional refining. Only those that meet the strictest parameters are finally approved and prepared for the last step of the entire process. Step 7. Packaging and Global Distribution After passing the strict purity controls, the lithium is now ready to go out into the world. The tons of white crystals are packed into special industrial bags and airtight drums designed to prevent any type of contamination. From here, this white gold is loaded onto trains, trucks, and cargo ships headed for the largest battery factories on the planet, located mainly in China, the United States, and Europe, where it will be transformed into high-performance lithium-ion batteries. To give you an idea, each Tesla battery needs approximately 10 kilos of lithium, and a single company gigafactory can consume more than 30,000 tons per year, enough to produce batteries for more than 3 million electric cars. And that's not all. It is estimated that by the year 2030, the global demand for lithium will be more than four times higher than it is today, which means that practically everything around us, from transportation to the energy in our homes, will be electric and will depend on this mineral. Finish. Tell us, did you imagine this whole process? Do you think lithium will manage to replace oil and become the energy of the future? Leave us your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next factory tour.